Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Nick is going to say what he's going to do in this video. Right, well I'm not sure what it's called because I kind of like copied off something we had in the hotel last week. But it's basically chicken breast stuffed with cheese, basil, uh, and coated with garlic, pimento. So we're doing a cooking video. Yeah. Pimento potatoes with a white wine cheese sauce. And, uh, and Lee's going to help in the kitchen. Yeah. And Nick's having a, uh, a gin while well, it's It's a mandatory rule when we do yeah. cooking. If I can find the video, uh, sorry, the photo. Did we take a photo? Yeah, okay. I think we took a photo of, of uh, when you ate it in the uh, okay. hotel we went to. Just a minute. I'll put it on screen. So this is what it's going to look like. Oh, this is what he's trying to make. There we go, there we go, there we go. So I've not got the recipe. I didn't ask the hotel for the recipe, but what I have done is I've kind of like tasted it and written a list of ingredients and then have a bit of Google. So this is purely experimental. I've never made this before, so hopefully this is going to turn out all right. So I'll just show you the ingredients. So we've got the uh, little herby potatoes with the garlic. We've got four chicken breasts, single cream, uh, white wine, obviously, for white wine sauce, um, garlic, uh, mature cheddar cheese to stuff inside the chicken breasts. We've got um, freshly leaved um, basil, finely chopped onion for the sauce, and then some tender stem broccoli. And I'm gonna whip all that together and make that lovely picture that Lee's just shown you. Right, so I'm putting the potatoes into the oven. There we go. What are we doing now then? So I'm gonna get the, um, the chicken breasts, stuff them with the basil and the um, mature cheddar cheese slices that I've got. I'm just gonna try this, make sure it's satisfactory chef's quality. Well, if you're trying it, I'm trying it. Mm. Oh, it's very good quality. Fact, I'm gonna have it all. So, get the chicken breast and cut into it sideways like this. Oh, even bloody hands. Definitely, I do not like touching chicken at all. You hear so many stories about chicken. What you need to do is a piece of cheese, fold it in half, put it on one side, a couple of um, leaves of basil in the chicken breast. I've not got much because the plant had actually wilted over the weekend. So, and then fold it back over, like that, and then just set it to one side until I've done the next one. So I've got to do that four times. Well, I haven't each. Yep. So, this one's a little bit bigger, so I'm able to cut it without it. Ooh, it's a little squidgy. Okay. So, another piece of cheese, fold it in half, stuff it in. Some basil. Now we do have dried basil in case we run out, so it's not the end of the world. I'll just cut that little bit of. So I've fully stuffed these now, and I'm going to put them in the pan. I'm going to cook them on a really low heat um, with the lid on, so we don't want them to fry, we just want them to just basically just broil. And then halfway through, we'll actually, oops, we'll actually turn them over um, and cook the other sides. Um, you saying broil actually reminds me. If you do like cooking videos, guys, um, check out one of uh, my favourite YouTube cooking people, Broil LA. We like watching these cooking videos, don't we? We do. So the chicken breasts are in on a really low heat, on a simmer heat. Leave them to cook now so the chicken goes white, but they, they basically don't, um, they don't fry. Um, a lot of the water will come out of the chicken and we'll drain that off as it goes along. So how long do you think that'll take? Probably about 15, 20 minutes just to do that. No, that's not too um, In the meantime, we're gonna actually now make the white wine sauce. Okay. So I've got one standard white onion, pop that in with a bit of oil, and I'm just gonna quickly saute them to get them, um, not browned, but... Some supermarkets call them brown onions, don't they? Yeah, as they call them brown onions, why they call them brown when they're actually not brown? I'm gonna actually ha add the garlic in as well. They're cooking nicely there. Lots of garlic, you know I like garlic. Exactly. I'm going to use the rest of that jar Might as well, actually. might as well. Get it all in. While the, um, the onions are frying, we need 150 ml of white wine. I'm using the Chardonnay. Always put a little bit extra. Is that all that you'll use for that? That's all the white wine that we'll use. We're going to put um, 300 mill of single cream. You can actually do double cream if you want, but I always like to use that. And we're going to put some parmesan in because um, we want to have a cheesy taste. So 
So I'll protect the lid back. I don't know how much I'm going to put in, but... Um, you can just make it up as you go along. Yeah. Okay, so the wine's measured. Fortunately, it's not for drinking, it's for the cooking. Onions are in, the garlic's in. So we just need to get them cooked first before we add the, um, the white wine, the cream and the parmesan. And that will form the basis of the sauce. Potatoes are in the oven. And then I'm going to basically put the, the um, tender stem broccolis in the microwave. Four minutes will cook them to perfection. And they're basically just to add a bit of greenery and give it some... These are getting nicely white. Broccoli in the microwave. Four minutes. Oh, you're going to join me. So guys, I'd just like to let you know that the white wine in this white wine sauce is the first alcohol I've had in almost a week. Yeah, but by the time it's cooked, there won't be any alcohol in it. Good. Because it will have evaporated. So what's the point in putting alcohol in it if, if it's evaporated? The taste. I mean, you will get some alcohol, but... Right, is that done? Um, Don't brown them. Yeah, they're done. Right, okay, so what we need to do is add the 150ml white wine. Add that in. And then one stock cube, one chicken stock cube. Can you crumble more? I'll crumble that. And then can you stir it and make sure that that gets mixed in? Just a bit of dried basil, just because we didn't have too much basil in the potatoes. 300 mils of single cream. Pop that straight in. And then if you can stir that until it's all mixed together well. And then I'm going to add two heat tablespoonfuls of parmesan into this, just to give it a bit of a cheesy flavour. And then once it's cooked, we'll taste it and add any more that we need. Right, so the white wine sauce is ready. I'm just going to have a taste, just to make sure that it's got the right fragrance and taste and whatever. I need another taste. Definitely tasting of wine, that's for sure. Hmm, let me have a try then. Mm. Do you think it needs more parmesan? <laughs> no, perfect. Okay. And I can definitely taste the wine. You said you won't be able to taste it. No, I said you won't get you hammered. I said you'll be able to taste it. So I've turned them over halfway through. So they're now pretty much cooked. So I'm going to turn that off. Right, the potatoes are ready. So I'm just going to serve these. Obviously we've been a bit lazy by getting the pre-cooked, pre-cut and everything, but you know. Why, why? Why do you run when you can buy Why would you, yeah, why would you chop them yourself when somebody else is chopping for you? Exactly. Oops. Uh oh, you've dropped my plate. Oh, well, never mind. I'll pick that up for me. Right, so the tender stem broccoli is cooked. Oh yes, perfect. Right, so let me just put these back onto the plate. And you get a large one and a small one. And I'm actually going to put another piece of um, cheddar cheese on each one as well. So I'll just let that melt a few minutes. Now the sauce is quite rich, so I wouldn't advise anybody putting tons on. Um, it's really just to a, your own individual taste. So. I may have actually overcooked this a little bit, but never mind. At least it's my five a day. Okay. Are you going to try that? Are you going to try the sauce and, and, and what have you? Right, so that's now ready. So let me just get the... Um, so this one's mine. So let me just get a little bit of um, potatoes. I turn the oven off, Hunter. Chicken, potatoes and the sauce all together. And let's give it a try. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> if you didn't say, say so that, yourself. But, but no. Oh my god, seriously, that is absolutely amazing. Needs right. a bit more sauce. Right, guys, we'll finish the vlog here so mm -hmm. I can go and try mine. Um, let us know what you think to Nick's recipe in the comments below. Uh, hit the like button if you're not already a lodger so you can become part of the lodge gang. God, that's amazing. Honest to God, I'm not saying that because <laughs> the video. That is the best thing I've ever made. Hit the note. So, so easy. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future videos and see you next time on Lodge, guys. Oh my god, that is absolutely amazing.